guys. So we are Hi. working on uh, another weekend on the cabinets. Um, we got the big L portion done. Um, Countertops. Yeah, for the, or, you know, what did I say? Counters. Cabinets. Countertops. Anyway. Um, so yeah, we're working on them. We're going to get these prepped and ready um, so they can start the drying process after we put on the base coat of two-in-one primer and paint. And um, then we're going to go inside and install the uh, sink base, um, sink countertop, and then install the sink and then all that good stuff. I cannot wait to have a kitchen sink again. Yeah, it's been rough. Uh, we're also going to wait to install the dishwasher, so that'll be nice. So these cabinets, or I don't know why I keep saying cabinets, Counter these box. counters actually have um, the standard, you know, laminate. Uh, backsplash so we are not gonna be using these anymore we're gonna um, put in subway tiles so I actually have to cut these off and uh, then we're gonna sand them down to get them flush and then we will be um, adding Bondo to get it uh, nice and level and uh, then sand that down and then put on our base coat so here we go
Hey guys, so um, it's another day and the countertops have had the bonding agent applied to them and they are now dry. And uh, <clears throat> so now we're gonna add the two-in-one uh, paint and primer uh, for bare for the base coat. And then once we let that dry, we'll come back and we'll add our um, color coat of the epoxy. got the first coat on and it looks really good got to go back over it with the torch get any air bubbles out All right, so we're getting ready to install our new sink. Say hi. Hi. And we need to drain the old lines because we are replacing the valves and everything. So, let's see. <clears throat> well, dang. Oh, you had a hard time turning that one anyways. Yeah, that's why I wanted to replace the valves. They're pretty old. Yep. We have our main line turned off, but of course there is still water in there. Still water in the line. You. So we're gonna empty them out. Which we haven't ran any water through our sink in like Weeks. A, a month. <laughs> we haven't had a kitchen sink in like a month. I'm so excited. And because we don't have a dishwasher, or the home never had a dishwasher, and we're installing one. I need to replace this valve so it has a dual outlet, one for the hot water and one for the dishwasher. Yep. All right, so that looks empty. I'll shut this off. And that's hot water? Yeah. Shut this off for now. Drain the other one. And then actually uh, take the valves off and replace them with new ones. 
and then we can get ready for the sink to drop in. Yes. And we gotta test the dishwasher yeah. to make sure there's no leaks. Which hopefully, I mean, there shouldn't be any leaks with the dishwasher. Um, there shouldn't be, but you never why, know. That's why you test it. Yeah. I wonder how hard those are going to be to get off. Oh, it's going to be tough. But Well, I assume it's going to be tough because these are old. These are older pipes. They are copper or steel. Um, that's good. Meaning that they're not lead. Let's see if this helps at all. Coming out? version of WD-40 and it worked great and took like no time. Now we just need to get this other one off. Can I see okay? Give me a flashlight. Beautiful. Alright. Good deal. Yay! We might have a kitchen sink tonight. <laughs> So we got our new three-way valve uh, that'll allow for the dishwasher and the hot water. And then just a new standard valve for the cold water. A couple of new flanges and thread tape. So what I'm doing now is just cleaning off. Do you need anything to clean, clean it off with? Um, actually, some steel wool, which we have in the garage. Would actually be nice, yeah. Bird. Uh oh, guys. She is not going to be happy about that. Looks like we got the wrong size. Shoot. Yep. Son of a gun. Looks like we're going back to Lowe's tonight. 
fun, fun. Steel wool. You know, the good news or the bad news? What? The good news is, is... Yeah? We have steel wool. Bad news? They're the wrong side of the balance. Oh no. What size do we need? Three eighths. These are three eighths. These are three eighths outlet. Half inch flip inlet, three eighths comp outlet. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? That means these connectors are too large to go. Both of them? Yep. Oh, no sink tonight. Womp womp.